So let's jump into using scalar component for basic um, mathematical operations. Those are standalone components that do things like add, subtract, and compare numbers. They are pretty straightforward components. So let's start out with these uh, operators. So here we can see a selection of uh, operators that you can find under maths operators. So we have just uh, extracted from the component panel a few of them so we can have a look uh, together. So we have just added uh, a number slider and also some uh, uh, panel for give us a visual. So here you have a uh, addition component. Uh, you can use uh, two numbers and you can do a simple addition of numbers. If you zoom in into the component, you can see that you can add a few other uh, input uh, parameters depending on how many do you, do you need for your operations. Um, you have also uh, subtraction in the same way you can uh, subtract numbers uh, from uh, a list or just from single um, sliders. Uh, multiplication, this is also very straightforward. Uh, five by five, it's uh, 25 and that's really sounds good to me. Uh, division, uh, in the same way you can divide numbers, uh, but for example now uh, it's turned into an error because actually you cannot uh, divide by zero. Um, the modulus, uh, when you have two numbers, uh, it returns only the reminder of this division. So it will divide uh, 9 by 9 and the remainder is 0. For example, if you have 9 by 3, uh, there is also a 0 reminder, but at the moment that you have a different number, um, these are the reminders of the operation of every division. And finally, uh, we have here the power, and this is a number uh, in the power of other number. So let's jump into a constant. Those you can find it in maths and utils. So here I have extracted a few of them just to, to have a look more in detail. But basically are those components. They are mathematical constants like pi, e, the natural logarithm, uh, the golden ratio, or a few others. Um, we can use them, put a panel here, and see that this is a um, straightforward component that's just returning a number. So for example, for pi, you could use a, a number slider and you could uh, multiply it by a certain value. So the same for natural logarithm and for many others like golden ratio. So constant can be inside of uh, a component, but Grasshopper um, also provides you the opportunity of using uh, a panel. It's just a simple panel that you can uh, open it and type pi and by using a uh, multiplication component you could also uh, multiply having the same result as here. So there are different ways how to get there. Um, now if we jump to our comparators, so here maths and then operators and here you have this group of uh, comparators. It's uh, equality, similarity, larger than and smaller than. All right, so basically what you can do here is, um, <coughs> is compare numbers. 
so you can uh, have a list of numbers or just single numbers like the ones we have here in the number slider and you can by a boolean operation true false value check if these numbers are the same so at the moment if you just choose uh, for example 55 five, you can see that um, if a is equal to b then you will get a true so if they are different then uh, inequality will turn true so the same for larger than and smaller than a vector is a geometric quantity describing direction magnitude and sense vectors are abstract entities so they are not geometries points and vectors are very difficult to distinguish since they are both a list of values a vector always starts at 0, 0, 0 and ends at a specific coordinate. Let's check out uh, vector's attributes. So here I've prepared a grasshopper document and we can go through together in order to see what are the different possibilities working with vectors. So let's start out with um, constructing a vector. For this, we have uh, selected the vector component that can be found under vector tab, vector XYZ. Here, we just need to give us an input uh, to values. And since uh, the vector that is giving you as an output cannot be, uh, cannot be seen, since it's not geometry, we always need a second component that is vector display in order to see. So let's move uh, our slider. Now our vector is 3, 1, and we can see the coordinate here. So there are different ways how to display these vectors. So if we also preview on this other vector, we can see that it's 1, 3, zero since there is no C um, input parameter. But let's have a look what happens when we add two vectors. So let's uh, preview this uh, result of the addition. That is um, basically the addition of two matrices. So this is the three, one, zero. plus one, three, zero. That gives us as a result the vector four, four, zero. As you can see here in the uh, subtraction of the, these same two vectors, um, it's pointing to a different direction. Now we can play a little bit with our sliders and see how these two vectors react to different input parameters. You cannot divide two vectors since uh, vectors are quantities with magnitudes uh, as well as direction. So dividing vectors by another vector means that you are dividing a direction by another direction just like if you were for example dividing the north and south on the other way you can create a product of two vectors and those are basically the two components that can be found under vector cross product and dot product Basically, just to mention that dot product is uh, also known as a scalar product. It gives you a number as a result. But the cross product here, it returns a vector that is perpendicular to both, being as well the area of the parallelogram that the vectors span.
When we work with vectors, uh, since it has a magnitude, you can uh, select a unit vector that can be found as well under vector tab. We can display this vector by, for example, copy this vector display component and now we fit in. As you can see, this vector now turned in green has the unit uh, value. Working with vectors sometimes is a bit abstract. You can always use this uh, component that it's called text tag. You can find it by doing double click on the on the canvas and it's just asking you for a location, the text and the color. So the location that we wanna uh, where we're gonna place is at the end of this vector and we want to place the vector length as a scalar value. So now if we just preview it, we will see that the information that we have in our panel will be placed directly in uh, our Rhino screen. This is very interesting because if we change our sliders, we will always have a feedback. So you can also reverse the sense of a vector by multiplying it by negative one or you can also find a component that um, gives you the opportunity to reverse. It's this one. So um, the sense is now negative, but the length of the magnitude stays the same. So the magnitude is a little bit uh, like the absolute length of a vector and the sense is the way in which it's oriented along the direction line. So we can display this and see that we have the same vector but with a different sense.